Sorry about your... Alright, so using various programs, I got the PS4 controller working in the torchlight. We So quickly, uh, let me run down. What does what? Uh, I changed the buttons around to make it to my preference, but, uh... Here we go. Left analog stick moves the guy. Right, right analog stick moves the cursor. It's kind of pointless because I have the touchpad working. Uh, left analog stick brings your statistics and quests. Up brings uh, your pet's inventory and other stuff and your inventory. So up is uh, full inventory. Left is statistics and quests. Down is to, you know, your, your, up your stats and, and shit and your skills. This is like level up, level up. And then, yeah, you see, with the touchpad, I can get to the other tabs. And that's all good. Um, and then, you know, just to close it, you do the same thing. Bam, 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 bam. I have right do the map. A lot of times I want to look at the map right in the middle instead of the top right, so I hit right. So hold L2, up, down on the right analog stick. And if I hit right to put the map back on the top right, I can do the same shit up there. Up, down, up, down. So, best available health potion, best available mana potion. And then, give the pet a potion. Gives the pet a potion with L1. The skill I have for 7 is R1. I mean, it's a shield. I have a shield. You gotta constantly put the shield, so I need it very easily accessible. Um, X will trigger my left, basically, uh, X will trigger my left mouse button, square will trigger my right mouse button, as you can see. Triangle will do whatever I have in one, which is those little bot guys, and circle will throw a grenade. Now, if I have charge, of course, that grenade's gonna be bigger, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, how do I access three, four, five, and six? Well, I hold L2, if I hit square, bam, my healing bot comes out, triangle, my gunner, circle, my big-ass robot, and X. Which is that, uh, stunner, right? That's what it does, it stuns. Yeah, it slows them down. So I hold L2, use these keys, I have a more skills. So that's pretty cool. The touchpad's useful because, say, I have the inventory out. And I don't want, I want to use this gun. You know, pressing the touchpad in will produce a mouse click. The touchpad makes moving the items pretty easy. So that's pretty easy. Alright, I want to use this one. This one's good. Cool. Alright, on to fighting. Come on, you can also use the touchpad to move the character. Although I wouldn't recommend that. Yeah. Let's try killing some stuff. Point, you can do it. Yay. Alright. Oh yeah. And this boss is again. Alright, so what programs did I use to do this? Alright, um, to get the PS4 controller's touchpad to emulate a mouse, you need PS4 PC. The URL is, well, it's probably just easier to click the link in the description. Then there you go. Um, to trick the computer into thinking that you have an Xbox 360 controller instead of a DualShock 4, you use this program called DS42 uh, <laughs> uh, you use DS42X input wrapper which is basically like DS4 tool, let's just say. That's also linked in the link below. And in order to play Torchlight with an Xbox 360 controller, of course, after confusing the computer, you use a program called X Input Mapper, which you can download straight from the forums of Runic Games. Again, the link is below. So there you go. PS4 PC, X Input Mapper, and DS4 tool. That's it. Touchpad, 
confuses the thing into Xbox 360 controller and plays Torchlight with Xbox 360 controller. That's it. Whee.